What's up guys and welcome back to the vlog. We are at Shane's house as always and if you guys may be new to my channel my name is Lewis and I drive this LS 400 that I work on a lot. Before we get into it guys I just wanted to say that I have officially been vlogging now for one year. It seems longer but at the same time I can't believe that it's already been one whole year. So I want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed, commented on my videos, been sharing my videos and comes back and watches every single one you guys are the true fans thank you so much also guys i wanted to say real quick that i am actually on an ls 400 page on facebook i'm pretty sure a lot of you um have me as a friend a lot of you reach out to me on there uh which is really cool um but something going around i got actually a lot of people want me to host an ls 400 meet um, I'm actually not the one that suggested it. Another guy on the page did. Um, so I figure, why not? So I'm actually in the OC area. If any of you are local or near OC and are down or down to even come down here for an LS400 car meet, comment down below, guys, and I will see what I can do to try to get it going. I'll start looking for some spots. Um, but that's something that I wanted to say. Maybe we'll be doing it this month or maybe even at the beginning of next month, which actually would be pretty lit to do an LS400 car meet for my birthday, since my birthday is next month. Just saying in case you guys wanna, you know, drop anything to help me out with the build, you know, just, uh, <clears throat> you know, just saying. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you guys are down for that, comment down below, let me know. Shane on his uh, his new skateboard. What do you call this? Jackboard, huh? If you guys want to cop a jackboard, link is in the description below. All right, guys. So this is what we're doing. Um, basically, something that I did not notice was when the wheel's on, it's actually just sitting only against the studs, um, as you can see. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do a little mark on all of them. Oh, what the heck? This one's like perfect. What is happening? How is this one perfectly flat? Just one, and then every other one is not. Dude, that's weird. Anyways, I guess that's pretty much what we're gonna do. I'm gonna screw, I'm gonna, t I don't know. I don't, yeah, I'm gonna pull it off and then um, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut that. And then on the other side, we have one of these that's bad. Um, I brought my other spacer. We're gonna take the stud off of that and then take the, the stud off the other one and pretty much flip it and that's what we're gonna be doing. That's on the other side though and hopefully this goes quick. So we're gonna go test this one out. I'm gonna put it on there. So hopefully it's um, cut enough. That way I know exactly what I need to do for the rest. Put this up in there and hopefully it's good. Oh, nice, you're doing one at a time. It's gonna be perfect. It's not even fully tightened either. All right, oh, yeah. we're Gucci. Gucci. So might as well keep that one on there. Yeah, put it back on. This actually goes in a little bit more, so that's yeah, perfect. Cool, so I'm gonna pretty much do that to all of them. Three more to go on this side and we're done. Yeah. All right, let's go check out what Shane did first. 
Dun, 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 dun. Hey. So this is Shane's new mount. He actually made it the other day. Um, it's a big flag. Yeah. Has it always been that big? No, I have a one before. That's dope though. So if you guys didn't see the last video, this is what Shane um, made. It mounts or it bolts in like in there. To what again? It bolts to what? Some little bumper in here. I'm not really sure exactly what. Well, there's a part in there that bolts and then um, pretty much it comes out. I'm in the sun. It comes out like that. So he welded all this up. Nice. Well, it's a little loose because it's not tight, but. Yeah. I'm going to put a slit here too so it kind of pinches it even more. Yeah. Right on. Or, or the Japanese car. <laughs> All right, so if you guys want to go check out Shane's build, I will put his Instagram right there. Make sure you go give him a follow. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, yeah, I already told you guys, I believe. I think I did. Pretty sure. If I didn't, um, here, you can tell him again. What are you doing tomorrow? Got to stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Got to stay tuned. But if I already had said it in the beginning, then I guess it's already out there. Um, so, yeah, this is what Shane's went ahead and did it's coming together <laughs> coming together right now <laughs> all right guys let's head back inside here this cat is always licking my car and sniffing my car all the time what do you want jeez louise you got your phone still in the phone box i can't hear it over this Alright guys, we pretty much got all of these done, so we're going to go ahead and um, put them in and then uh, torque it. Yep. They're not the prettiest cuts, but it does what I need it to do, so it sh they should all, the wheels should actually sit now. Good. You're going to lose that fitment, bro. By like nothing. <laughs> You want to get your, um, yeah. All right. So pretty much that's it. Oop. So I'm going to go ahead now, uh, torque this one up. And then um, we're going to pretty much start on the other side, get the wheel back on. Uh, see where it sits. It shouldn't be that big of a difference, really, because it's only literally like this much that I cut off barely anything so it shouldn't make too much of a difference and then we'll see later if the car like actually drives better um, I think it should cause the wheels actually gonna sit now where it should rather than being like actually off you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down and then um, we'll start on the other okay so I totally forgot to record but we had just changed out the um, other stud right now and um, I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So in case you guys don't know, let me just walk you through. It's basically um, just put, you know, um, like this on it right here. Okay, right there. And then just hammer this now until basically it comes out the back. And then pretty much when putting on a new one, what you're going to do is you're going to slide it in, hammer it in as much as you can. And you're going to pretty much screw this all the way down until it touches. And you're just going to keep tightening. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull that forward. And that's basically it. Day two. Oi! It is day two. Oi, oi, oi. Hey, no. What the hell? Comment down below if I need to make one for my car. That 2J though. Really clean. Nice placement. Oh yeah, that's a good 
Alright guys, so we got Bruce here. I don't know if this is his new car or, or what, but... Nah. No. Dude, this thing is fire. Let me see. Oh, Holy man. fuck. Damn. Right now? Right now? Look at, I can. Can... iPhone. It's air. Yeah, well, we have air. Damn, this thing is so sick. Apple pie. Did he say apple pie? <laughs> I heard apple pie. Bruh. All right guys, so it's pretty much later in the day. I didn't really film too much today um, just because I was pretty busy and I didn't have very much time to get um, a lot of stuff done. Um, so real quick, I'm gonna walk you through with what I went ahead and did. So on both rears, I went ahead and actually dropped the perch to make the shock longer, which is pretty much, I'm aired out in the same exact spot on both sides um, just I'm getting more tr um, lift now which um, should be a better ride so that's good and then what I went ahead and did as well on my last video if you guys remember was it my last one or was it this one honestly I don't remember but on how the fronts were I had to cut the nuts well it was the same thing on the rear so if the nuts were good it just means I had to cut the studs so I went ahead and cut the studs so now the wheels fit level all around so i'm happy about that so pretty much what i'm doing now is the hanger on that one broke so i had the car aired out and basically um i'm just gonna weld it right where it sits uh shane's over here wet sanding his tail lights because i'm gonna go ahead and buff them for him that way they'll have a nice finish all right i'm done with the tail lights for now until i bring my other pads over but you guys can see it's really good Check out the other side. Still, I I did shove it in there. Ooh. And then just go real slow. And Ooh. Let, it, <laughs> just, woo. let that shit build up. That's know? how I like it. Hey, Shane. You want to take a look at it? You want to take a look at it? Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm sorry for showing you guys the same things over and over again. I'm trying to make them as entertaining as I can, but these are just things that are happening with the car. So I definitely want to make sure to pull off the camera and show you guys exactly what's happening um, with this and record pretty much the whole process of this thing and every detail of it. Um, but we got a lot done, not as much as I wanted to, but um, so we have more travel now in the rear or more um, lift in the rear, which is really good. Um, we air out the same, the, the studs are cut. So now all four wheels are flush against the spacer, how it should be. Um, what else did we do? Honestly, that was pretty much it. Um, I got to meet another subscriber again. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for stopping by. And again, if there's any of you guys that are down to hang out, collab, or anything, just make sure to comment down below, and that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys aren't already, because there's going to be a lot more to come for the car. We still have the hood paint. We still have the bumper paint. The front bumper is going to be going back on very soon. Um, I plan on making some fun videos you guys are going to have to stay tuned for. Um, I do have, actually, I want to show you real quick. I do have, I was planning on doing this today. Let me show you guys. All right, so right here I have um, the bottom of my tray, my table tray. Um, ignore all that. That's just like mock-up type stuff. But I was planning on working on that today, making the top half 
but the rear suspension, it just took longer than what it should have. Um, so be expecting that. We're going to be moving on to the interior very soon. I know I keep saying that, but bear with me, guys. Um, you know, so again, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one, and until then, peace out.